Hello everybody, Calamity here, and my sleeping schedule is totally ruined, again. Today's video is going to be about the brand new special program that just aired a few hours ago. I just woke up, so we're going to take a look sees at the new characters that are coming out in 4.4, as well as the banners, and I'll give my two cents on them. Now, I, obviously, I have not seen any parts of the special program yet, so version, this is, they have the uh, developers coming out and explaining the kits, which is fine, but I mean, it's not in English, so... I don't think it matters, but let's go ahead and take a look at the four-star character that's coming out. Uh, it's Gaming. He's a Claymore Pyro user. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pause every time they go to a different uh, ability of his kit. So the first thing we have here is his normal attack called uh, Be Bestial Ascent. From what I understand, this character is going to be doing some plunging attacks, which is nice. Means like, you know, Zhao's not the only one that cares about plunging attacks and um, I guess Kaza to a lesser extent, right? There isn't a lot of characters that actually utilize. So he's going to pounce forward using the Wusho art, sleeping high into the air after coming to contact with a target or surface. After gaming has used his, his bestial ascent to rise into the air, he will use the especially powerful plunging attack Charmed Cloud Strider. When performing a plunging attack, the damage from the plunging attack caused by the bestial ascent is converted into pyro damage. It cannot be overridden by other elemental infusions. Upon landing, gaming will consume a fixed amount of HP. Uh, gaming's HP cannot be reduced below a certain uh, method or amount by this method. Excuse me. Charmed Cloud Strider damage is considered plunging attack damage. So yeah, we do have plunging attack focus here with his normal attack. Um, I believe this is his normal attack. This actually sounds more like a skill, but. Wait, I noticed they're going into the skill and the burst, but the, the text is not changing. Oh no. Okay, so I had to rewatch the uh, this section again, but I had to actually read the subtitles because, I, again, I thought the text was going to change. So he does have a way of healing himself since he also damages himself as well, which is kind of neat. Um, he summons his uh, man, man Chai. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, to help heal him and it, he does do aoe pyro damage so overall i mean he just he is a four star character and he does look solid um but they again they don't really show damage numbers in the showcases and they don't really fight you know any like strong opponents to really see how viable the character is but you know hopefully they've been they've been doing okay with four stars i think when it came to the fontaine character so i don't think gaming is going to be feeling a little lackluster uh, when he's released but overall uh the character looks fun and really really uh simple to play um it also looks like using a shielder with this guy is probably going to be ideal because you know when you're in the middle of plunging if you can get knocked out of it that's a huge damage loss and you're you know big stun uh basically so yeah, we'll have to see more when he's actually out uh in another week or so <clears throat> so here we are with uh jian yun or otherwise known as uh, Cloud Retainer, if you guys have been playing the story. She's finally a playable character, and we're going to take a look at her kit here. So I'm going to have to actually read the, the subtitles this time. Um, so if we look at the one that they're showing us for free, it looks like that's her elemental skill, uh, which can be used while in mid-air. Jian Yun leaps forward, dealing animal damage to targets along her path. During each cloud transmogrification state, Jian enters the Sky Ladder, which may be used up to three times, and only one instance of Sky Ladder damage can be dealt to any one opponent. If Sky Ladder is not used again in a short period, the cloud transmogrification state will be cancelled. If Jian Yun does not use the Drift Cloud Wave while in this state, the next cooldown of White Clouds at Dawn will be decreased. Okay, so I just read a bunch of fancy words, and I have no idea what they mean yet. Uh, it's very classic Genshin terminology. Like, we don't know what exactly the cloud transmogrification means, or what sky ladder is yet. The drift cloud wave state. Like, <laughs> there's all these fancy terms. But let's go ahead and just take a look at our kit while they explain it. Oh, okay, so that, that... He has great mobility, my goodness. Wow, exploring is going to be... Very easy. <laughs> That's nice, though. 
，也能御风助推，让同伴获得轻盈的跳跃能力，提升跳跃的高度。So she helps with other characters deep plunging attacks. 下落攻击时造成风险伤害。And she also, oh, she's like an off-field DPS. 看起来很有意思啊，身形轻盈。Let's go ahead and pause here. So she's like an off-field animal DPS character that will that helps you do plunging attacks with other characters. The problem is like I don't know how well that works because like you know like 98% of this character base doesn't really use plunging attacks and doesn't matter if you do like they were using Diluc there as a showcase, but isn't Diluc better off doing his combo you know where you're interweaving the skill and normal attacks. Uh, and stuff after he uses burst, so I, I don't know how ideal that is. I mean, it makes for a, a funny playstyle, I guess, uh, while exploring. But um, for late game stuff, I'm not sure how viable it is. So let's take a look at the banners for 4.4, and it's very nice of them to actually give you the brand new four star in the new character's banner as well. Because usually they separate the two, right? Like usually the four star will be with the uh, the reruns. Like that's exactly what they did in four point three, right? Like Navia and Chevrous were separated. But here they're together, which is nice and makes sense, right? Because these two synergize. Gaming looks like he's all about plunging attacks, and Jian Yun looks like she helps amplify them and makes them easier to do. I don't obviously she's new, so I don't know how well Jian Yun is. When it comes to you know late game stuff and her team viability and how easy she is to build and all that stuff, she is being ran alongside Nahida, and that I can tell you, Nahida is still one of the most broken characters in this game, alongside Raid and Shogun, and for good reason. Hyper Bloom and Burgeon, since its introduction to this game, has still been one of the best. Teams you can make in this game, all the way up to end game. I still use Hyper Bloom. I still can use Burgeon on occasion when I feel, you know, like mixing it up. And Nahida is great for any of those teams. If you do want to use her for spread, aggravate teams as well. Nahida also good for that. So any Dendro thing you want to make, Nahida is gonna make your job or make that team like ten times more efficient and easier to play. So. If you've ever wanted to do any Dendro stuff, pull for Nahida. Great character, very very strong. So phase two doesn't surprise me, other than Yaimiko again. <laughs> uh, Zhao being here makes a lot of obvious sense. We do have Xian、uh, Yun in the previous banner, so you know I'm I'm gonna go ahead and assume that she buffs plunging attacks. I don't know by how much, but I'm sure there's some buff to、uh, plunging attacks for Zhao to take advantage of there. As for why Yaimiko is here, no clue. Maybe she's just here to celebrate Lantern, right? But you know, in the story or whatever. But、um, she's definitely a character that has had a lot of reruns by now. But I'll definitely be making a guide on her、uh, once her banner is closer to releasing, so you can look forward to that. And since it is lantern right, I do believe they give us a free four star. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip around here. They are gonna give us a four, a free four star character, and I will make a video guide on you know which one should you pick if you're a new player and you feel overwhelmed by your choices.、Um, we'll talk about each one.、Uh, and with that, I think that's gonna be it for the、uh, you know my little reaction to the、uh, 4.4、uh, special program live stream that they did. Um, I don't usually look at the exploration stuff or the event stuff. That's not my,、uh, you know, my、uh, content. That's not what I base my content around. I just like doing character guides and and the combat stuff.、Uh, looking forward to the new characters. Obviously, I will try them out in the character trial. But as for whether or not I'm pulling for them personally, no, I am in full save mode after that last Navia banner、uh, really ate up my gems. So for me, this is a save. I already have Nahida, so I'm just gonna just chill, get all the free rewards, and you know, wait for a character in 4.5、uh, or later to、uh, to see who I want to pull for.、But、yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new characters or anything else in the uh, event uh, or the update. I mean, if you're anything you're excited about, I'm curious to know. And if you're gonna be pulling for Zhao or Yaimiko, if You know, if、uh, I were to be pulling on one of these banners here, I'd definitely go for Yaimiko, mainly more for 
character preference. I think both of these characters are just all right. Uh, they're solid in their own way. Pretty much just what you want at, uh, for these two. And I guess depending on the four stars, but... I will see you all in a future video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.